Hey guys, it's Juice Chantel. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a mini mukbang uh, from Taco Bell. And I'm also going to show you guys some things I got from CVS. So I thought just put the two together because it's going to be a really short video. So um, first, let me tell you from Taco Bell. I just got a um, medium Pepsi extra ice because it's happy hour, so it's only a dollar. And then I got the three, the triple layer nachos. But I just got them with beans. And then I'm going to add some just mild sauce. I'm cooking dinner in a few hours, but I wanted a snack, so I thought I'd just grab a snack and I can tell you guys what I got from CVS while I eat. Hopefully they're still hot. Sometimes the chips are so stale. And then like barely put any beans or the chips. That chip did not want to go in my mouth. Yeah, these chips are so stale and they have like no salt. And the Pepsi, wow, bad choice today. The Pepsi's not good either. I always taste my drinks before I leave the drive through, but I didn't say anything because it was only a dollar, so. And the point of me going to Taco Bell because I like that they have Pepsi there. We're gonna overlook that. I don't know what was in that chip. So um, tonight I'm going to make, hopefully, um, crispy potato tacos. So I haven't even started. Um, I already cut the potatoes and put them in the fridge. Um, but I haven't boiled them yet. I'm sure there's a lot better with cheese, but I can't have cheese, huh? And Taco Bell's like the only t um, hot sauce I can eat because it's the mild is really, really mild. So I can eat like, I'll use like one or two packets at the most. That was a dud. I don't know, I felt like last time I got this, the chips were so good. That makes it, I mean, when you're only eating chips and beans, even if I got the cheese on it, the chips is what makes this dish. I mean, they're nachos. So, let me show you the CVS haul. So, um, I got, 
another, well, this morning CVS sent me another um, $2 off. So I started looking at my um, my account to see what other uh, deals and things like, like were gonna expire on my extra care card. So um, I had a, let me see. So I had a coupon, um, if you spend $12 in cosmetics, you get $2 off. And then I had um, $2 off any CoverGirl products. And then I had, um, what else is on here? Oh yeah, and then the $2 that they just gave me. So that was $6 off. Well, on top of that, um, if I bought one more Maybelline product, I would get $5 back in um, CVS Rewards. So I went to the store thinking I'm not gonna be there long. I even took a picture of the items that, that I wanted because I literally bought three things I was in the store an hour. So. I mean, I went in, had a game plan, and one of the items I didn't have and the other one was a different price. Now, the reason why it matters is because I was trying to spend the $12. I didn't want to go over that. So I ended up finding um, something else, and there was a lady there um, helping me. So I was just telling them, like, oh, I um, have this coupon I'm trying to use, so can you help me find something like this price range or whatnot? So she's really nice. So I ended up getting a CoverGirl bronzer in golden tan. And this was regular price. Sorry if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my notes. Um, so regular price, this was $5.59. I paid $1.79, guys, $1.79. And then I bought this um, Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This is the clear for your um, lash and brow. I haven't bought clear mascara in a long time. Oh, I take it back. I did have a, um, not clear mascara. I have like a, kind of like a primer for your mascara. It's like white, but I'm almost out of that anyways. So this will be a good replacement. So this was $6.79 and I ended up paying $4.59 for it. So I got these two things and then out comes the $5 that I got for um, buying two Maybelline products. So, cause I bought a Maybelline product previous and so um I just need one more so then I said you know what since I'm here why don't I just go ahead and spend the five dollars so I don't have to come back and in my last video I told you guys that if I got another uh, five dollars off I would buy another um the amplifier for the um cell phone case for my cell phone so um if you guys don't know what I'm talking about watch my last video uh the CVS haul so I end up changing my mind and I saw this LA girl um brow promenade I've never, I never do anything to my eyebrows. I barely even wear enough makeup, apparently, to some people. So I was trying to think of like, what can I do um, to like add a little more to my face, like color and make things pop more. So I got this um, gel. So I'm gonna try this out. Hopefully this works. Although uh, the lady told me that it doesn't come with a brush, but I was like, that's okay. Cause I'll try it out. And then if I can't use it, I'll just give it to my sisters or something. And so this was, um, $5.99 and then I only paid 99 cents plus tax. So, um, all in all, I spent like seven, eight fifty, a little over eight fifty, but for all this stuff. So I thought that was a really good deal for all three of those. Um, and I think I have, let's see what else do I need to spend? I think I have a couple of more rewards on here I could spend, but um, if I don't have anything good to buy or if it's not a really good deal, I'm not going to waste my time going back. I just didn't want to go back to CVS again, so I was like, I'm going to spend this $5 right now in the store. And the funny thing is, so in the last video I told you guys, I had a new cashier. And again, who do I get? I get him again. I was like, oh my gosh. So I was like, oh, hi, it's me again. And I have more coupons. And here he is again trying to give me back the coupons. I'm like, oh my God. Like... I'm not sure why he gives you back the coupon. Like, I'm not sure they didn't teach him that level or I'm not sure, but at the end of the night, I'm sure when you're going through your drawer, you need to have, you know, whatever discounts matching, you know, the coupons that you put in the drawer. Um, Cause like, even when you do self checkout, you have to put the coupon in the drawer. You cannot proceed until you put that. They'll know, cause you know, it's waiting for you to put the coupon in there. So. I'm still confused on why he was still trying to give me back my coupons, which I cannot use. So this time I didn't say anything. 
He put them in front of me. I just left them because I didn't feel like explaining it all over again. And then like towards the end of the transaction, he noticed and he took them back and he's like, oh yeah. And he put them in his drawer where we did with them. I don't know. He was trying to throw the last ones away. So I have no idea what he did with it, but I definitely think they need to let him know about coupons. Cause I mean, I'd gladly use my coupons over, but that's just not cool. So, and they weren't, they expired like tomorrow. So I could have gone to a different CVS and used them and not said anything, but I mean, that's just, I don't know. So maybe next time if I get him and he tries to give me the coupons, I'm like, hey, look, um, I don't know if you know this, but I'm pretty sure at the end of the night, they need to have these coupons, you know, in their drawer to, cause you don't want to have like your receipt of why you gave this lady a bunch of discounts and then you have no coupons to show. So we'll see. And I, I bet you when I go back, I'll get him again. So if he tries to give me the coupons, I'll just pop like, oh, hey, why don't you, I think you need to keep these just like last time I told him. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I know he's new, but um, you need that stuff for proof. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys. Um, I will see you guys in my next video, on my next video. And please give this video a thumbs up. Take care. Bye. See ya.